Welcome to Mount Lebanon Lutheran Church Wednesday evening virtual devotion. Our Bible reading tonight is Mark chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. Most of us have more than one thing to do each day. More often than not, we have many things to do, so it becomes necessary to prioritize. We order the day so that the matters judged most urgent or important get done. We do our best to keep the first things first. Lent has begun. We are still in the first days of the 40. This past Sunday, we heard the verses from the Gospel of Mark I have read tonight. Jesus, we are told, before his Galilean ministry began, he was driven by the Spirit into the wilderness in order to be tempted by Satan. It's a strange detail, really. Why would the Spirit drive Jesus or anyone into a time of temptation? We can come up with reasons, of course, but what is most important for us is that Jesus is shown for us in this story as never falling to sin. And so he is one who can be trusted for salvation. For me, also, what is important is the message from these verses that Jesus' life was God-directed, that sensing the claim of God on his life, Jesus did what God the Father wanted. In short, he answered God's call. This coming Saturday, February 24th, at 10 o'clock a.m., Elizabeth Reinfrank will be ordained a pastor into the ministry of word and sacrament of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Sensing God's call on her life while worshiping as a member here, Elizabeth left her old way of life behind in order to enter ministry. She has completed all the requirements and now is prepared to serve God as a pastor in short, she followed the Spirit's lead, not unlike Jesus being driven into the wilderness by the Spirit. In these days of Lent, may we all take an assessment of our own daily schedules, of our own lives, to see where God has been fitting in or not fitting in to our plans. For it is not the case God calls people only to be clergy. God calls everyone to be doing something for the kingdom. May this Lenten season be a time for all of us to have a personal discovery of where God might be leading us to go, what God might be calling us to do. In these 40 days of Lent, let us take up the cross and follow Jesus wherever he may be leading us. Thank you for joining us tonight. Join us on Saturday in worship as Elizabeth is ordained in the ministry. Pray for her and all of God's servants, clergy and laity alike.